my angel pies and welcome back to my channel so the long awaited Walt Disney World haul is finally here you guys have been begging me to finally upload it because obviously as some of you may or may not know I recently went to Florida I vlogged every day and if you haven't seen them my vlogs will be linked below when I went to Disney World I purchased a lot of things which I know you guys are very eager to see because I kept them very stum on the vlogs so here we are I'm showing you everything I purchased I'm also going to show you at the end some bits that I purchased from Universal mainly Harry Potter World if you are new to my channel my name is Sophie aka Sofrina I make three videos every single week mainly hauls and fashion interior bits so if you like that kind of thing consider subscribing so without further ado let's get to the video okay so I actually have so many bags I'm intimidated on where to start where to begin but then I remembered I'm wearing my first item so the very first thing I want to show you is my new spirit jersey I have never owned a spirit jersey before I've been to Orlando Florida Disney World over 15 times now and I've never owned a spirit jersey how bad is that? So this year I purchased my favourite, favourite spirit jersey, which is this blue stripy one. It has the Walt Disney World logo at the back, and I just think it is the most cosy, gorgeous top ever I've ever owned from Disney. So this was the first thing that I was so interested in getting when I was in Disney World. They sell spirit jerseys everywhere, so all in all the parks, and also in Disney Springs in World of Disney. So it's not very hard to find the spirit jersey. They are around $60 per top. So obviously it's not really cheap, but I really definitely wanted one. I actually purchased this in a size extra small, but it fits lovely normally i'm a size small which is the uk size 8 to 10 but this is an extra small which i don't really know how, what size it is in the uk but it's an extra small so if you do find a spirit jersey that you love and i would consider trying on sizes down because they fit me fine so when i'm shopping in disney world i've learned a very very good tip and here's my tip to you if you want really nice sweaters and hoodies have a look in the men's section i think the men's section have really good sweaters and here it is it is basically a massive gray sweater I love it so much and on the front it has all of the logos of the four parks not the water parks just the four main parks so we have Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom and then at the top embroidered in cotton is Walt Disney World and then it has one of my favorite ever ever Walt Disney and at the bottom it has my favorite Walt Disney quote of all time which is I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that it was all started by a mouse which is very true it was all started by a little mouse I just love this look how cozy it looks I got it quite big because I think it's going to be long enough that I could wear it with leggings I purchased it from the men's range in a size L which is a large I purposely wanted it to be really big I did try on the XL and a lady who worked there was basically like no honey it looks silly it's too big so she told me to get a large after helping me try it on which was really sweet of her I love at the front of the sweater it has like a little pocket thing which goes all the way around because then you can put your hands in and be cozy or just put your phone in and whatever else while you're chilling around the house one of my favorite things I purchased from Disney World is in this box firstly I love how they package things they always put a sticker on your boxes which is so cute but this is oh I just love it I cannot wait to get it out gorgeous Disney World cookie plate and I just love it it looks so adorable and Christmassy and traditional so it has lots of different characters on it has the chipmunk Minnie and Mickey with Pluto pulling their sleigh and it has Goofy decorating a Christmas tree it even has Bambi on and I love Bambi I just think this is the cutest plate and just to have on display in my house maybe on the kitchen side with some biscuits and cookies or whatever else on around Christmas I think looks so nice you cannot find stuff like this when you're not in Disney World so something like this I just had to pick up this was actually $35 so not cheap for a plate let me tell you but again like I just said it's not something I could find elsewhere so I had to treat myself to this
Next, I purchased some of my favourite sweet treats from Disney World. Disney World has a massive range of sweet treats and some of my favourites are coconut patties. Coconut patties are so good. They're basically like squashed coconut with um, chocolate around the edge. They're just so good. They're in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head and I love eating these while I'm in America and I saw a big box of them and thought, why not? Like, why not? I don't know, but I have a feeling it was like $19, so not the cheapest again, but definitely worth it. It's quite a heavy box of um, coconut patties, so I've probably got enough to last me quite a while. So these are my fave. If you've not tried them yet and you're going to Disney World, try them. <clears throat> if you have seen my Florida vlogs, you know I went to Disney World with my niece and my nephew who are three and seven years old and one of them left their hats in my suitcase, so I might as well include it in the haul. But this is like a Mickey Mouse cap and I think it's really cute because I love the colouring. It's got the ears sticking out and it has Mickey Mouse's signature on the little cap bit. I just think this was cute, although I think it's going to be too small for my head. just found my Disney ears. Could put them on really, couldn't I, for the video? Yeah, let's do that. So I also treated myself to a key ring. Look how cute this is. This is so underrated. I actually love this so much. This is the infamous Mickey Mouse chalk ice lolly thing and it's basically just a key ring. So I'm gonna put this on my keys now because I totally forgot I got it. This is what I love about filming a haul after you get back. You forget what you get and it's like Christmas again. Okay, so one of my favorite rides in all of the Disney parks is Tower of Terror, which is in Hollywood Studios. That is honestly my favorite ride. I used to hate it as a child. I used to cry. Now I love it. I, I went on a few times on my own because no one would go with me. So I had to buy myself a tea and look, how cute this is. It's a Mickey Mouse Tower of Terror t-shirt and it says the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror and it has a Mickey Mouse looking really scared and the colour is like this tie-dye black into grey type colour. I purchased mine in a size large because in my mind I have wearing this around the house with a pair of tights or something so it's long enough to curry my curry. It's long enough to cover my derriere. This is so adorable and cannot wait to start wearing it. This was $29.99. I did find that generally most t-shirts around Disney World were like a straight edge $30. So um, yeah, if you want some nice tees, they're all like around $30. So if that helps you with budget spending, but you can get amazing Disney t-shirts in Target and Walmart. So you don't have to get them all from Disney World, but this one is from Hollywood Studios. So I purchased this gorgeous Mickey Mouse mug, Halloween mug. It's from their Halloween section and I absolutely love it. It's huge. Like my head is quite big, but it's like the size of my head. So it's really big. And on the back it says boo to you and it has Mickey Mouse's ears sticking out the side and on the front like a droopy ghost like version of Mickey Mouse. Last time I was in Disney World I purchased a different Halloween mug so I thought I have to get another one this year. It's just going to be so good for like hot chocolate, it's like a massive mug of hot chocolate throughout the Halloween months, yeah. And if you are a avid Soferina fan you have watched my vlogs and in my vlogs I actually purchased some earrings and I showed you what earrings I got but while I was in America I thought do you know what I want the same earrings but in a different colour so I purchased some gorgeous earrings these are basically they match so which is why I bought both of them so I have several different holes in my ears so I purchased these studs which are Mickey Mouse head studs and it's actually for the month of February I did actually purchase my birth month which is May but I loved this colour I mean I have no affiliation to February but you know, I love the colour. So the colour's like this deep purple colour, which is my fave. And then I purchased the matching hoops, which has Mickey Mouse heads like hanging, dangling down from the hoops. And these are silver. These are honestly my favourite things and they look so good in your ears together. Per pair, it was $19.99, so $40 for both, plus tax, obviously. Also, just floating about in my bag, I've seen my early morning magic band. One morning, my mum treated us all to um, early hours, basically a breakfast dining experience, and it meant you got early hours into the park, which meant early access to some of the rides, and we had a lot of fun. I just found that in memories. So keeping in the Halloween theme, I purchased the cutest Halloween decoration. This is a Mickey Mouse head, pumpkin head, and basically you can put a candle in there and it's just so frigging cute. Look at this. 
I love this so much and cannot wait to have now be able to have it out on show in my house but it's so cute the lid actually does come off but it's sellotape down now so I will do that properly but I don't want to rip any paint off and on the back it says happy Halloween and obviously a section you put your candle in I just love this so much I really love their Halloween and Christmas decorations in Disney World that you get and I just couldn't not get this this was um, $16.99 so it's actually cheaper than the Halloween mug which isn't bad like I thought this was quite a good price for what it is considering like how unique and beautiful it is so I think I did just mention about how going to the men's section in the clothing is a really good idea and the next thing I got was actually from the men's section as well but I don't really care so it was these stitch PJ pants and I love them so much. I love Stitch. I think he's so adorable and so funny. And I saw these, they were in the men's section, but I didn't find the women's pajama section too great. There just wasn't many, unless they were all sold out. I love them. They're so soft. They're like pure cotton feeling. And they're pajama pants with little cuffs at the bottom and just like prints of Stitch all over, which I absolutely love. These were actually $36.99 so $37 plus tax. I purchased these in a size small because obviously they're men's so they look like they're going to be really big and baggy but I don't mind that because that will be extra comfort and extra coziness. Something else from the sweet treat section is these that I purchased. These are um, dark chocolate almonds. I love um, chocolate covered almonds or chocolate covered nuts are my fave. I think these were from Main Street and I saw them in the bakery section and I just thought they looked really nice. A little pot of almonds that I could just maybe have it in the kitchen and then people would just come in and help themselves. I haven't tested them yet so I will test them and probably let you know on Instagram what I think. So if you're not already, follow me on Instagram. Okay, so my new favourite place in the whole world has to be the Pandora Land in Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, and I, oh my gosh, I fell in love with the film, so I was really excited to get to Animal Kingdom. And while I was in Animal Kingdom, I went obviously to the Pandora Land, which can I tell you is absolutely beautiful. Like the rides are incredible. So when I was there, I saw this tube of the creatures of Pandora. So this is like the banshees and all the different types of creatures you get in Pandora. And although, yeah, this may seem like for children, they're just like little plastic toys. I thought this would be a really good idea to have like decorated on my bookshelf, kind of maybe stick them down on my bookshelf as if they're like crawling around my books because I'm really into reading and I love my bookshelf and I just had this vision that they would look really cute on my bookshelf kind of dotted around so when I do get around to putting these on the bookshelf I will be um, taking some photos and showing you on Instagram but I just really really like them I love Pandora so much Also, I purchased myself some socks. They have great ranges of socks in the Disney World stores and I purchased these two. I think it was two pairs for $14, I think from remembering. This pair, which is like different types of Mickey. So we have like the Explorer Mickey and we have the original Mickey and um, the Fantasia Mickey, which is honestly one of my faves. Yeah, I just thought these are really cozy socks. So in the Disney's Hollywood Studios, they have the new Pixar Land and I saw this and I just had to get it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. For some reason I thought my cats might play chase with it, but now I'm having second thoughts, so I might actually give it to a small child in my family or something. And obviously being in the parks, you need to buy the popcorn and I always manage to get the novelty bucket. The novelty bucket's really good because basically you buy the bucket, it's about $15, but you can bring it back each day you're in Disney World and it's $1.75 to refill. So that's not too bad at all. And here's the bucket itself. I just really like it. It has basically illustrations of lots of various different things from the park. So you've got the famous Dahl Whip, which I had and it was so good and Tinkerbell and it's I just really like the illustration of Mickey Mouse holding pretzel, salted pretzel and the famous Mickey Mouse ice cream which I have the key ring of, the Epcot um, ball, just lots of like a gherkin on the tree. I just really like this popcorn bucket and this is what I'm going to eat my popcorn out of at home from now on I think. So while we were in Disney World this year we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party which was really good. I do recommend it. I probably won't go back because I've done it now. Now, 
and it seems like something once you've done it you you've kind of done it but I really did enjoy myself and while we was there we went trick-or-treating around the park and I got a massive bag of sweets which I must admit is relatively much smaller than when I returned so I couldn't help it but I have been munching out of this bag different trick-or-treat spots and they just give you tons of candy and sweets like I'm talking a lot they just shove so much in so there's all kinds of different sweets here loads of empty wrappers the three musketeer sweets which I saw in stranger things which I was really intrigued about they're basically like uh, milky ways so I got loads and loads of different sweets in this bag so I think that's pretty much it in the Disney World haul there are a few bits and bobs that I was showing you in the vlog so I won't show you here but I am going to move on to the universal stuff so obviously I went to Harry Potter World and I purchased a few things. So the first thing I purchased was a pot of Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. I love this because I love the packaging, it's exactly like it is in the Harry Potter books and the films. This is so cool. I actually don't really like candy or sweets, but I purchase these every time I go because it's such a fun game to play with your friends. Basically, have your eyes closed, pick a jelly bean, eat it no matter what flavour it is, you have to eat it and kind of guess what the flavour is. So I purchased one of these and then the fav my favourite thing I've ever purchased from Universal has to be this chocolate frog trinket box. So this looks like the chocolate frog sweets you can get in the Harry Potter world but it's not, it's actually made out of like China I think or something but it's basically glass or pottery and it's so beautiful it's a trinket box and I think it is so gorgeous look how beautiful that is I just thought it would look really nice on my makeup table it doesn't have a frog inside the man at the shop was telling me a lot of people assume that it does have a chocolate frog inside but it doesn't because it's a jewelry pot um, but I just think, look how gorgeous that actually looks, like how pretty. And I've never ever seen anything like this, so I had to get it. It was actually $25 for this. And also from the Harry Potter section, I purchased myself a big old black t-shirt. Again, I'm obsessed with tees to wear with tights around the house or leggings. And I loved this one because look how eerie that looks. It's basically like... A shot of Dobby the house elf like his eye his gorgeous big eye and his lovely little ears well they're not little but you know I just found this t-shirt so adorable so I had to get it I purchased it in a size large and I paid $27 and then obviously I had to look around the Christmas sections and I found this Grinch Merry Christmas t-shirt I have to I have to buy something Christmassy like when I'm in every park I just have to go to the Christmas shops and I bought this Grinch t-shirt I love Grinch I love the film Grinch I know there's a new one coming out which I'm very excited for but I've always loved the films and the books so I had to buy this this was actually only $15 so normally in my hauls I always pick out my favorite thing I got but genuinely I can't I mean this is going to be a favorite for a very long time but absolutely everything I absolutely loved I love the Christmas things, the Halloween things, I just love it all. So what was your favourite thing in today's haul? Do let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed and again if you are new my name is Sophie aka Sabrina and I make many videos every single week so I would love it if you could join me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.